I never really expected to be the first openly queer contestant. There's a reason that no one's ever come out at a pageant before. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rachel Slauson. I'm Miss Utah USA 2020, and I'm getting ready for my first ever fashion week. Things have been a little bit crazy since I got crowned a couple weeks ago, as I'm the first openly queer contestant ever at Miss USA. So let's go get ready. I actually came out last year. I came out to my family first, and then to some close friends. And then actually I started telling some girls that I competed with just to see how it would maybe be received in my pageant world. And then finally I came out to the entire world on the pageant stage as well. I have made national headlines <laughs> as the first openly queer woman who will ever compete at Miss USA. Being queer is not a platform. <laughs> you know, that we talk about platforms a lot in pageantry and this is not my platform. My platform is uh, centered on suicide prevention. And I think the more my family understood like how many kids are suffering, they realized that this was important for me to share, even if it's not something they fully understand. The last time I attempted to end my life was actually after, after Miss Utah USA. Um, it was the night of the pageant. I was 19 years old and I was already struggling with mental health issues, so it definitely wasn't the pageant's fault, but I think my self-esteem was so low that I didn't understand that failure is actually how we grow. They don't mention that part of the Cinderella. Like, what did she do with her shoes? Probably well, had blisters, that's all I'm saying. I actually was diagnosed with bipolar disorder three times before I actually accepted it. The first time that I was diagnosed, they weren't sure, so I kind of just decided I don't have that. It sounded really scary, and it wasn't until I actually had a real manic episode. I've only ever had one. That's all it takes for you to really start to accept with the situation. I've been in a psychiatric facility three times, <laughs> um, which is more than I've been to um, Coachella. <laughs> The stigma around bipolar disorder is part of what made it take so long for me to actually get treatment. Bipolar disorder or any mental illness doesn't have to be the end of the road for you. If anything, it's just the beginning of a new chapter. Oh, it's great. I think that there's a lot more depth in beauty than people realize. I feel like I am a beautiful woman, and that's in part from how I like to do my hair and makeup, but it's also so much more of who I am. To me, you know, being a bisexual woman and struggling with bipolar disorder, all of these things that I've had to go through that were so hard, they're part of what make me beautiful. Pageantry has been a source of play. Like, pageantry's fun. And especially as I, you know, as I touch on topics that are so heavy, being able to do that with glittery lipstick on, like, that's great. <laughs> I think we need more of that. Yes, that's the plan. I kind of view competing at Miss USA as a very sparkly TEDx talk. <laughs> I'm still going to be touching on the same subjects, but I get to do it in a super fun and playful way, and that to me is a dream come true. Someone did my makeup for Miss Utah as well. I still feel, I've taken professional lessons, and I still feel like I'd rather have an artist do it. I'm getting ready for Cynthia Rowley's fashion show. She's dressing me. I think that they heard that I was, you know, the first openly queer contestant and they were really excited about that. Being bisexual is just a part of me. It's definitely not the whole story and I know that it's the part that is the most interesting right now just because there's never been representation for the queer community in pageantry like this. My sexuality is just one detail and I, it was never something that I wanted to be known for. But now that I understand what it means to other people, I'm really excited to, and, and proud of that. Now that I'm all beautified, it's time to put on this gorgeous outfit by Cynthia Rowley. I'm so excited to go to her show, and no pageant outfit would be complete without your sash. So I'm gonna go put this on. I'm so excited to show you guys what it looks like. See you in a second. dressed and glam, it's time to go to my first ever show at Fashion Week and I'm so excited. I'll see you in the front row.
It has been such an incredible day. I've had so much fun getting ready with you. Fashion week, here we come.